Number six, figure 9.39 shows a cubical box that has been constructed from uniform metal plate of negligible thickness. The box is open at the top and has edge length L equals to 40 centimeters. Find letter A the X coordinate, letter B the Y coordinate, and letter C the Z coordinate of the center of the mass of the box. So our strategy here is to analyze each side of the box separately and find their center of mass. For example, this side over here, its center of mass is at this point. The center of mass of this side is at this point and so on, so on, so on. So how do I know that the center of mass is at the middle of the, the side? Because the, the plate, the, the sides are constructed from uniform metal. So if it, its composition is uniform, its center of, of mass is at its center. So let's say this is side number one, this is side number two, this is side number three, this is side number four, and the bottom one is side number five. The center of mass of the side number one in the x direction is zero, in the y direction it is halfway, over here, so it's L over 2, this is L over 2, and in the Z direction is L over 2 as well, so this is the first side. The second side, let's see, it's the, the X coordinate of its center of mass is in the, in the middle, so L over 2, its Y coordinate is L, and its Z coordinate it's Z L L over 2, right? So that's the coordinate of this side. The third side, side number 3, it's X coordinate is L, it's Y coordinate is L over 2, and it's Z coordinate is L over 2. For number 4, it's X coordinate is L over 2, it's Y coordinate, it's 0, and it's Z coordinate is L over 2. For the bottom one, the X coordinate, it's L over 2, it's Y coordinate is L over 2, and it's Z coordinate is 0. So those are the five sides that we have. So for example, the X coordinate of the center of mass is equal to the sum of 1 over the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals to 1 until n of mi xi. So in this case, this is the sum of the masses. So let's say each side has mass equals to m. So it will be 5 times m. So the, the, this is the sum of the masses. Since I have 5 sides, each side has mass m, so it's 5 time, times m. So for the first side, it would be m times 0, so m times this value over here. For the second one, would be m times l over 2. For the third one, would be m times l. The fourth one would be m times l over 2. And the fifth one would be m times l over 2 as well. So this is going to be 1 over 5m times, let's see, ml over 2, so this is 1, 2, 2 and a half, 2.5 ml. So we can cross out the masses and this is going to be L over 2, which is equal to 20 centimeters. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we are going to do exactly the same. So this is the equation that we are going to use. E equals to 1 until n of m i y i. So again, the masses add up to 5m. So m times l over 2 plus m times l plus m times l over 2 plus m times o plus m times l over 2. 
so this is equal to 1 over 5m times 1 to 2 and a half again we can cross out m and this gives us 20 centimeters as well okay so that's the answer of letter b for letter c we're going to do the same procedure again however we are taking account the z component of the position of each side so again it's going to be 5m times m times l over 2 plus 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 m times 0 and this is going to be 1 2 1 over 5 m times 2 times m l we can cross out again the masses and this is going to be 2 over 5 times l which is 40 and this gives us 16 centimeters and that's the answer of exercise number six